Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Sorry about my fingernails. And uh, hopefully I'm gonna be able to record this in one go because I've made the ill-advised decision to take my daughter's word for it that they are trying to nap in one bed at the same time. They're four and one and it's not gonna go well. But whatever, I guess maybe they don't get to go to the library. Uh, where were we? Today we're doing a flip through of my personal size rings. Um, this is from Fuzz Josma. They sent it to me for review um, and I am really enjoying it. If you're not a fan of the character, we'll call it character, that happens when things get scratched up and whatever, this just gets thrown in the diaper bag. Um, I don't get to cut my nails as often as I like and so it gets scratched that way. Just everything happens. Um, and so it, it gets some scratches and they sort of um, wear and patina over time. Um, and I really do like it. It feels like rustic um, and it's fun. And I do love how floppy this is. It just lays totally flat, um, which is nice because it's got the pockets and stuff. So uh, we will jump in. I'll just quickly give you a tour. Um, this has some washi tape on it. These are some fl page flags. I have a couple of like checks that I have e-deposited um, and I was just waiting for them to clear before I took them out. Not going to take them out on camera though. Um, and stuff like that, health insurance cards and stuff. Um, I use this as my wallet and usually the cards, like the credit cards, live in a little plastic um, card slot holder that goes right here, but I take that out for flip throughs. Um, back here are gift cards, which are script for our school to fundraise, you know, and there's a little bit of cash back here for a change. Um, I always keep one or two blank checks also with me um, because you never know when a check comes in handy. And all of these tabs, the plastic tabs, are from Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy. That's um, with the number two. Uh, and all of the see um these acetates i printed myself from some um what's it called digital scrapbook paper um if you go and find like the float through setup video of this you'll see i, I put links to all of it, everything in there um most of the inserts unless otherwise noted are from my shop at ganchyplans.com and let's begin um the word enough is supposed to inspire me to not struggle so hard not try to do everything all at once um and i don't know if it reminds me of that or not but that's what it's supposed to do this is um oh it's still empty <laughs> I, I keep this folded over this is insert 37 um the flip out list i keep it folded over like this so that i can put notes that i don't have to remove like i did with my credit cards before filming <laughs> so this is like an inbox um, but I haven't put anything in here because I generally, if I know where it goes and I have the time, I'll just put it straight there. This is like if I'm on the phone and I have to put some notes somewhere and I don't, you know, I, I can be messy in here. Um, and then I can migrate them to wherever they need to be later. The first tab here is like to-do lists, basically. Um, first, we start with this bingo card which is insert 71 in the shop um this is my summer break bingo um i am on maternity leave for my daughter's home summer break from school so i'm trying to have as much fun as possible with the kids especially since i was kind of robbed of my maternity leave with my 2020 baby um it looks like i actually did get bingo i'm just using it as like a bucket list so there's still maybe a couple of things we're gonna do i accidentally put road trip twice but we're going um to Comic-Con next week, so uh, I will get to check it off twice. This on the other side is self-care bingo, which I should use as a to-do list instead of a, um, I don't know, retroactive thing. This is the 52 weeks, um, insert 52, 52 week future log from my shop. Um, and so I use this to sort of assign a major project for each week. Um, I didn't really assign one to this week, but I guess that doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I, so I can sort of plan ahead and if things are busy in a particular month, then I can sort of forward plan a little bit. Uh, this is just a writing to-do list, things that don't have somewhere else to live. These are tasks that belong to a smaller goal. This insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's called, yeah, goal planning, I guess. Um, and I really like this one. This is a list of craft project and or repair things that need to be done. People ask me, oh, can you fix this beanie, this, you know, um, beanie baby or whatever, like this, this shirt, this hem needs to be fixed. 
it goes on the list and then I never do it. Um, so I'm waiting on things someday maybe in honeydew lists. So these are all tasks that need to be done at some point. So when I'm like, oh, what should go on my to-do list this week? I can look in here. The next top three tabs are from month, week, day. So, well, month and future log. So we've got July. These uh, dashboards are freebie in my shop. Um, and this is insert 61 for the monthly. Um, I just have, you know, events here and tasks here. Um, some of them have dates, as you see. And this just has like a little calendar for July and then last month and next month and a few goals. Um, this sticker is from the... Um, happy planner sticker book that I have. Then the future log. I only moved into the personal size in uh, May, so January through April are blank, but here you go. Just future log stuff, things that are coming up, and then this is for anything that's next year or beyond, because you always got to have space for when you run out of room in your future log. Then this is all folded up. I just printed out the school calendar, and then I just folded it up and punched it in here, um, and these bottom three on the top half, if that makes sense, are cut so that you can pull it in and out and unfold it. And then I don't have to show it to you on camera for privacy reasons. Um, this is like a last time done type of a log for things that need to get done every month or more, or uh, basically the last time I did them. And so that just goes over into the, the back half of the year. Um, and then this is the same kind of thing, but for things that don't happen on a recurring basis exactly. Um, Oh, I, I wrote the date, but not, this is, my husband changed my oil in my car. So for example, the oil change, it was last done in January. It didn't really, like there's space to put the next time it should be done. He's in charge of that. So if I schedule it, then I'm just going to stress over it not being done when it was his responsibility in the first place. So I just leave that to him. But if he ever asked me, when was the last time I changed your oil? I have the date. Um, so he just recently did it. And I put the, um, the mileage as well. And then, oh, there's a library books. I actually did return both of these. Um, so I don't actually have anything checked out from the library, but we're going there tonight if the girls nap. And, uh, I just put, you know, when they were checked out, when it's due and when it's renewed so I can keep track of everything and not forget anything. Um, and then these are birthdays and anniversaries and you put the year that the thing took place, the birthday, like the birth or the anniversary date. Um, instead of putting a year or instead of putting like an age, you put the year and then you don't have to redo it. This is evergreen forever. And then part of my weeklies, I like to do some photos for my sprocket printer. Um, I have been, these are my kids. One, two, three. Um, I've been using insert 28, which is this faux Dutch door weekly. So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday with a running like to-do list on the side. So that was the last week of June, first week of July, and then the current week as I'm filming. Um, and then I have some more printed out and ready to go. And then whenever I'm done with this, I'll probably move to a different weekly. I just print out some and I, I like to jump around a lot depending on how I'm feeling. And then um, I have dailies in here and I don't use them all the time. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This is a brand new one that is just being released. It may or may not be out on the shop by the time this video goes live. Probably not, but look forward to it. This is a um, family schedule week, uh, daily. Uh, and I'm really excited. To, I'm, I'm going to be setting this up sometime this week, like to demo it and that will go on the listing so you can all see. And I'll tell you about it um, once it is live. Uh, you will, you'll definitely hear more about this insert, but I'm excited. Um, and then I just have a bunch of different random dailies in here. They're kind of not in any order. I just pick one when I feel like I need a daily for the day and then I move this bookmark. Um, this bookmark came free with my Marlene's plan to create order and uh, the sticker was from a sampler that came free with a plan of Kate order. So the next tab on the side is content creation schedule stuff. So I'm not going to really show it to you too much, but this is the current month. Here was May and June. I just, you know, plan ahead. Then um, I have some uh, pages in here that I used to design stuff. Um, this was that bingo card. This was like when I was 
playing around with ideas. You know, this is that family daily I just showed you. And then this is like an outline for my monthly newsletter. You can sign up for that on my website, ganchyplans.com. Um, I'm not going to show you the upcoming one, but this was last month's newsletter, sort of an outline um, so I could get started on it. Um, then this next tab is the current project this tab, it's current project, um, which right now is this week is the beginning of the county fair and I want to enter some of my vegetables in the county fair for the first time ever. I'm excited, but I took some notes um, when I was doing the research on how it gets done. Um, and so I have to register tomorrow as I'm filming this, yesterday as you're watching it. And then the next tab is other projects. So I've got some notes about like canning because I've been canning tomatoes and pickles. Um, oh, this is my daughter's costume for Comic-Con. Um, this was a packing list for swim lessons. Don't need that anymore. This one was for a little like people in baby's life photo album that I got. Um, I need to print more photos and I still have more that I need to do. Um, but that was what that was for. And then this one, I'm learning that Star Wars alphabet for fun. Um, or at least I say I am. I printed it out so that I can. Um, oh, and new school uniform stuff, which I did. Like, I ordered everything, but I don't want to get rid of these notes, so I'm going to have to store them somewhere appropriate. I actually just got a new, like, file folder thingy that'll fit these, so I'm going to do some organization of inserts and honestly really need to tidy up in here. <laughs> this little frame is tidy, so that's what's important. But I can't really do much in the office when I'm home alone with the kids, because they get in here and mess things up more than I tidy them, and it's not doesn't work. One of my favorite inserts I've ever designed is insert 27 meal planning. Um, I use the circles for shelf stability and then the check marks for when things get eaten. Um, so like for example, I did eat all the quiche. I haven't looked at it in a bit because um, I got everything already. I could make this again. Oh no, I would need feta. Um, and I made that too, but then like I have more, I have more of things, right? Because, because I made spaghetti sauce with tomatoes from my garden. And then I, I told you I got a canner. I actually like crushed tomatoes and put them in the cupboard. Like I have my own crushed tomatoes now. I'm pretty excited about it. And then, um, oh, there's a couple other things in here. Uh, my to watch list, which I never looked back at here. Um, we've just been watching Little House on the Prairie. But we're on the last season, which is no good, but whatever. We want to finish it. Um, wish list and some gift ideas. And then the last tab is spare pages. Um, and then in the very, very back, um, I haven't put anything in this little zipper folder that came with it, but it is here. Um, but this is my tab index so I can keep track of what's in each section, which is super helpful, especially when it's a new setup. Uh, it's been set up like this for what, three months now. So like I'm getting used to it. Um, but before that, it was good to have somewhere to look and go like, where did I put that thing? Oh, it's in this tab and then quickly go there. So I think that's everything. Um, I am really, like I said, I like the leather of this. It's a lot of fun. The pen loop actually fits my G2, which is nice because I moved into this out of a Malden. And so if you've ever used a Malden, you know that the pen loops are atrociously tiny. I don't know if that's all filofaxes or what, um, but it's nice to have a pen loop that works for a change. Um, and I generally try to keep this small enough that I can, um, snap it shut appropriately, um, properly without it, you know, popping out and that's working. Okay. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I have enjoyed this, in, um, setup. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next Thursday. I think next Thursday's video, I'm going to talk about how I'm prepping for Comic-Con. Um, I'm not going to be doing like daily vlogs like I have in the past. Um, I might do sort of a recap or I think I'll just post on stories. So follow me over on Instagram as well. There's links to all of that in the description and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.